Okay, so a few years ago, I realized that I knew nothing about money. Like, seriously, nothing. I didn't know how to balance a checkbook because, let's be honest, who still uses a checkbook? I had a savings account as my emergency fund, my vacation fund, and my down payment fund, and I knew I had a credit score, but like my weight, I was afraid of being confronted with the actual number. When I finally womaned up and tried to get my credit score, I was shocked by how dumb the process was and how difficult it was to control my history. Recently, 31 states reached a settlement with Equifax, Experion, and TransUnion to make changes in how they address errors in credit reports. That's a big deal. Three giant companies determine your credit score. And while the government is trying to make it easier for customers to have control over their own history, the way that number is calculated is complicated. Now, I know talking about money can be scary, so allow these adorable dogs to calm you while I explain how your credit score, often called a FICO score, is tallied. FICO scores can range from 350 to 800. Any number over 700 is considered excellent. Any number under 350 means you don't actually exist. You're a gone girl. The biggest factor in your credit score is your payment history. If you frequently make late payments or have delinquent ones that went to a collection agency, your score will take a big hit. Ouch. Pay your bills on time? Congratulations, you're boring. Just kidding, everything is great. The second most important category? How much outstanding debt you have. If you don't carry large balances on your credit cards or other accounts, everything is much easier. However, if you have credit cards with a combined $10,000 spending limit and you've maxed out all of them, you might have an amazing wardrobe, but it's gonna be bad for your credit score. Even if you're making all the minimum payments on time, it shows you're overextended. Plus, your interest rates are likely crushing you. Overextended and crush sounds like me after yoga. The MasterCard. Other factors that go into your credit score, the length of your credit history, how many open accounts you have, and if you recently signed up for a bunch of new accounts at the same time. Even worse, it can take seven years to clean up negative marks from your credit history. That's 49 dog years. And the worst part, sometimes these reports just have straight up errors. When I finally got my credit score, the number was bad. That's because according to my report, I hadn't paid my cell phone bill for months, except that I had. So I disputed the claim and found out that those delinquent payments belonged to another Alicia Menendez. That's why I got so excited about the 31 state deal to fix errors faster, because it should be as easy to clean up your own mess as it is to pick up after your dog. <laughs>